What is good everybody, it's BBK Dragoon coming at you today with another Master Chief Collection video. My friends, I think we are nearing the end of this whole deal. The latest waypoint update talked about flight number two, which we talked about here on the channel before, testing the dedicated servers, and then it hinted that flight number three is probably gonna be the final flight before the actual first MCC update goes out to all MCC owners. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Master Chief Collection has been getting some test flights for those in the MCC Insider program. These are little things that have tested out a new matchmaking paradigm and a new like focus on turning the dedicated servers back. That was like flight number two. Flight number three is supposedly going to include all of the Master Chief Collection. Up until this point, it's just been like a particular game or a particular playlist. And this third flight is apparently going to include all of the MCC insiders. Up until this point, it's kind of been selections of how much MCC have you played in the last six months, that kind of a deal. So with that said, if you guys are like classic Halo fans, you have MCC, there's a link in the description below to sign up for the insider program. You wanna sign up for it early because when you get green lit and get put in the program, it still takes a little while before you're actually gonna see the build for you to install on your Xbox. So all of that said, the Waypoint Post talks about we're nearing the first official update for MCC, the one that's gonna go out to everybody. And I'm both excited and nervous about this in two ways. The first nervous side of things is, wait a second, what happened to all of those stretch non-committal goals? Like maybe adding Halo Reach to the collection and maybe bringing some PC support and maybe a pretty big laundry list of other things. But then the happiness side of this as well is, okay, MCC's coming to Games Pass. Before it gets there, fix the dedicated server implementation and really overhaul that matchmaking system and the playlists that live inside of the game. So you have two sides of the coin there where it's like, the Halo community and myself included really I think was hoping and expecting something big from MCC, like one of those sleeper announcements at E3, like, hey, it's coming to PC overhauled progression, reach included, something like that. And then when we just got the really short engine demo for Halo Infinite, and we know we're probably not gonna see anything substantial Halo news-wise until 2019 or 2020, I have to say, man, my sales are a little bit like deflated. I'm a, I'm a little bit bumming. But at the same time too, okay, cool. You went back, you fixed the game, and this is what should have happened years ago, but I'm not gonna complain that it's happening now. If I had my dream, let's say I put my 343 cap on and I'm the king commander of the MCC team, or whatever, right? I want you to imagine doing the same thing. You're the king or queen commander of the MCC team. What would you do? You've got resources to spend and a team to put on a task, what exactly would you do for the Master Chief Collection over the next like year or two years to maybe suffice or help players <laughs> along waiting for Halo Infinite? What I would do is very similar to what they've done so far. Fix matchmaking, overhaul the playlists, and get the dedicated server implementation working flawlessly. Now they have it, they don't have it working flawlessly yet, but that's what I would put my main focus on. And then honestly, I think you gotta bring MCC to the PC, and I think you desperately need to put it on Steam. If you do that, games on PC, for whatever reason, I think just tend to have a, a much longer lifespan. It seems like certain communities will support these games for a very long time. And that's a big audience. A lot of your audience who started out as console players playing Halo 3 or you know Halo 2, have probably transitioned into PC gaming. Huge market right there. So th that's what I would have targeted and aimed for, but perhaps the level of, of just jankiness that the MCC build was wouldn't lend itself towards a PC port. I mean, heck, they didn't even do a PC port for Halo 5, and I imagine they have a better grasp of, of that singular engine than they do the multiple engines and all the different stuff that's in encased in MCC. But I'm curious what you guys think about this as we apparently are coming up on that first official update. What do you think? Is this enough? Why'd they do this in the first place? Was it all for Games Pass? I just, I want to get kind of a read on what you guys think of this as well, because 
for me, there's an element of gratefulness, a little bit of nervousness, but deep down, I, I just wish this thing would come to PC. And for content creators, if you're like a, a full on Halo channel, I would be desperately uh, nervous over the next year and a half to two years because Infinite could be a long way away. So anyway, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please thumbs it up. Leave the comments down below. I'll read as many as I can and try to reply to and pin and post. And you guys always bring a good conversation forth. Have a great day and I'll talk with you next time.